Hello everyone. Today I am here to address a critical economic concern that has been hindering India's growth potential. That is the sluggish rate of capital formation. Capital formation is a process of increasing the stock of physical and human capital in an economy and is essential for stimulating productivity, fostering innovation and driving sustainable economic development. Historically, India has faced challenges in capital formation stemming from various factors such as inadequate infrastructure, limited access to financing, and regulatory hurdles. Despite efforts to spur investment and promote entrepreneurship, the pace of capital formation has remained slower than desired, constraining our ability to unleash our full economic potential. So what can we do to revitalize capital formation and accelerate our journey towards prosperity? Firstly, we must prioritize investments in critical sectors such as infrastructure, healthcare, and education. Building modern infrastructure not only enhances productivity and efficiency, but also attracts private investment, creating a virtuous cycle of growth. Similarly, investing in human capital through education and healthcare improves the quality of our workforce, fostering innovation and entrepreneurship. Additionally, we need to streamline regulatory processes and remove bureaucratic hurdles that impede investment and entrepreneurship. Simplifying regulatory frameworks, ensuring ease of doing business and fostering a conducting environment for startups and small businesses are essential steps in unlocking our nation's entrepreneurship potential. Furthermore, we must leverage technology and innovation to catalyze capital formation and drive inclusive growth. Embracing digitalization, promoting research and development and encouraging innovation ecosystems can unleash new opportunities and transform traditional industries. But implementing these measures won't be without challenges. Barriers such as bureaucratic red tape, policy inconsistencies and infrastructure bottlenecks can hinder our efforts to revitalize the capital formation. Moreover, the global economic landscape presents uncertainties and risks that require careful navigation. However, despite these challenges, we must re remain steadfast in a commitment to fostering a conductive environment for investment and entrepreneurship. Over the next few years, we must embark on a comprehensive roadmap to revitalize capital formation. We need a clear timeline for action with short-term interventions to address immediate barriers and long-term reforms to sustain momentum. So, in conclusion, revitalizing capital formation is not just an economic uh, imperative, it's a pathway to prosperity for all. By working together with determination and foresight, we can unleash India's full economic potential and build a brighter future for generations to come. Thank you.